All right, I've been itching to try this. This actually came in the mail earlier this week, but since we are building subscriptions, I haven't had a chance. But I wanted to try out this foil quill because it's supposed to be able to work on like wood and fabric and paper and all kinds of things. So I'm gonna try it. It comes with one roll of the foil transfer paper. I bought an extra set of them and it also comes in different colors, but they're actually kind of hard to find. So I'm just gonna stick with the gold to try it out and see if it works really good. And it's really thin, um, but it's not like, it doesn't tear like other um, gold foiling that I've used in the past. And they say to um, tape it down for the area that you're gonna use it on. Um, one lesson that I learned is that you want to tape it down pretty tight because when you're going over the um, image or drawing it and if you don't tape it down tight enough then the um, paper kind of moves so you'll notice in this um, video I have it kind of bubbly and then I learned my lesson really quick that next time I was going to tape, tape it down a little bit tighter so you can just freehand on the foil. Otherwise, I wanted to do something easy to start out and I just stamped an image onto the foil. Um, other people have traced an image or a design and then put trace paper on, like taped down the foil and then taped down the tracing paper with the image or the design on it and used that. So whatever is easiest for the image that you're trying to do. So. I actually inadvertently bought the fine tip quill pen. I'm actually going to go out to the store tomorrow and get the standard size, but there's three, three sizes. There's the fine tip, the standard, and then there's the bold, and then there's also a cal calligraphy one. So um, this fine tip one works really, really good. Um, but I wanted to be able to be able to do thicker lines when I'm doing florals and stuff. Um, using the fine tip, I had to kind of go over it a couple times just to beef up the lines. And so it'll be nice to have different sizes. Um, this one that I started to do, I was actually going really, really slow because I wasn't sure like how fast you're able to um, write. There's some like resistance in it and I didn't want to go too fast and then ruin it but you can go a little bit faster than what I'm going in this video and then it'll still be fine and then I kind of just go over it and make sure that everything's kind of adhered to the um the base of whatever I'm drawing on so I am just going to go over all of the lines on this image and then we will have the big reveal All right, so after you are done going through all your lines, making sure you didn't miss anything, we're gonna go ahead and pull this up. Um, next time I'll probably use masking tape or whatever tape is recommended for whatever surface you're working on, whether that's painter's tape. I use scotch tape just because it's what I had in front of me. Um, but let's go and take a peek. And it turned out so good. I wish I would have had the thicker lines, um, but I'll definitely upgrade my pen and have both the options available. But it's shiny, the surface is clean, it doesn't rub off, and I love how it turned out. 